Dev1, according to their homepage, is a fork of Debian without systemd that allows users to reclaim control over their system by avoiding unnecessary entanglements and ensuring init freedom. For most users, it doesn't matter which init system you use. And systemd is used by almost the majority of Linux distribution. But Dev1 remain a proponent of using systemd free in its systems. Currently, Dev1 is in the fourth release. The first release was Jesse, ASCII, Beowulf, and Chimera. If we look at the Wikipedia site, they have the, all the information about the version history and the upcoming history, which is Diadolus for Debian 12, 13, and SID. It uses by default the XFCE. If you notice, it uses by default the XFCE version. It has a lot of versions, but the one that we will install is the desktop live version. So let us get. So let us start with the installation. New. Dev1. Linux. It's a Debian 64. Next. Next. Create. Next. Next. A gigabyte. Finish. We start. Add. And the downloads. Open. Choose. Start. So, enter. So, we are welcomed into the XFCE desktop environment. Uh, let's go for installation directly. So, let's continue. Continue. So here he gives us options if you want to place the home partition or the boot partition on a separate one. We'll keep with the default. Okay. So he tell us the name of the disk. You need to have at least one part partition so we run gparted device create partition table okay apply and then you put a new ext4 add Okay. Yes. Apply. Close. We go out. So choose the partition. Dev SDA one. Okay. Type of file system XT four. Okay. You will be asked about the bootloader later and formatted home will not be desktop auto login disabled proceed you can configure the geographic area but we will not do it okay same here All locals, yes. Enter. Generic, okay. 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 No. Proceed anyway, yes.
So now it asks to install the bootloader. Okay, so install bootloader. Choose the location to install. The usual choice is to put it in the master boot record. Okay, master boot record. Okay. Choose a location. This is the only one. Okay, so host name is Duvian Dev1. Username Dev1. Permit sudo for new user and keep root account. Okay. We enter the password. Okay. 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 Installation complete. You may reboot into the new system and remember to remove your installation media. This one we have to remove. Let us reboot. Let us reboot and come back. Reset. Okay. Here we are at the welcome screen. So I need to put the username and the password. And we enter the XFCE desktop environment. You have everything, the applications here, the XFCE panel. You have here the minimize all windows, the terminal, Tunar, Firefox, application finder, and Devion. And this one is the XFCE for application finder. And this one is also for the home. Looking here at the applications, there's nothing uh, special. We have uh, this old look of XFCE. They did not uh, include uh, many customization. For the settings, uh, it is a typical XFCE with the notification, with the panel. Nothing special here for the accessories. It is the same. Let us check Thunar. Okay, Thunar. Uh, let us check if they have. They they don't have custom actions, so they have they sh they could have included some custom actions here in Thunar. They did not. It is vanilla Thunar as I see it. So they installed. Uh, it, it comes with LibreOffice. With the internet, they have Firefox uh, ESR, the extended security release. Most Debian distributions now, they offer both the ESR and the latest one. The ESR is the same as the latest one for security. So all the security updates are available. But the problem is the, the look and feel of the 90s the firefox 90 now is much better and there is uh, you can sync your extensions and your passwords uh, more easily than this uh, 78 that's why uh, most distributions are are getting the 95 we come to the multimedia also they have the pulse audio as always the parole uh, media player for the office 
they have LibreOffice. Let's see the calc. It is fast. It loaded fast. So this is impressive. And as I uh, as I put, I think I put around 1.7 gigabyte of RAM. With 1.7 gigabyte of RAM and it's loading this fast. And you saw also the browser uh, loaded fast. So this is also impressive. There's not nothing slowing this system. Everything is is fine. So they have departed. Let's check edge top. Edge top is running at 450 megabytes. It's not bad for XFCE. Let us check the kernel version. So the kernel version is 5.10, which is uh, which is not an uh, old version, which is fine also. They have here the a larger font and a smaller font. It's a welcome addition, as I see it. And uh, they have departed, which is also interesting. And we have these two fl flagship applications that are available: the Refracta installer and the Snapshot. The installer is the one that we installed with. It is straightforward. Not the best looking, but it is straightforward. But for the Refracta snapshot, this one is, uh, is, is is a good addition by Dev1, so you can make your own ISO. Same as Antix and MX Linux. MX Linux have MX snapshot, and uh, Antix have their snapshot. So this one, if I enter it, of course it needs a pseudo privileges and it tells you whatever you are running now, since I installed it, everything you installed with all the configuration, with everything, I will take them and I will make an ISO different than the ISO that you installed with, which is good.